Hey, it's Scott with the Davidson Realty Team, and Crystal and I are going to give you some great tax tips for homeowners. When obviously homeownership is just fantastic, you can do everything from paint the room your own color to add a deck on the back without asking for permission. Those are all great benefits. But when it comes to January 1, we're all starting to look at what's my tax benefits. So we're going to give you a couple great tips, and one of the biggest items is mortgage interest. And the question is always whether to just take the standard deduction or whether to itemize. You'll have to decide that part, but obviously most people just take a standard deduction and that's a one for all, inclusive, includes everything deduction on your mortgage interest. Now some people decide to itemize, in which case if you decide to itemize, you can actually take additional things like property taxes, but you're going to have to go through the itemization process. So you have to figure out which one's best for you, but that's the biggest one. Moving expenses. There's four things you need to know. One, it has to be a certain distance from your old house. Two, you have to be a full-time employee. Number three, it not only applies to you, the new employee who's gonna be working full-time, it applies to everyone in your old house. And also, you can even deduct expenses for moving your family pet. Here's another one. What if you had a casualty on your property this year? What if you had a tornado or the house accidentally burns down or something like that and you lost items? Well, you can actually deduct those too. Now remember, if you lost a TV that might have been $1,500 originally, but the fair market value of it is only $750 now, you're only gonna be able to deduct $750 on that deduction. But nevertheless, you do get to take that as a deduction and that's one thing that a lot of people don't think about when they do their taxes. A lot of people will tell you that the IRS will throw a red flag for a home office. That's not true as long as you have a dedicated office space. And the standard deduction is $5 per square foot. So here's one you didn't see. Did you know if you had an RV or a boat, and as long as they have sanitation, cooking, and sleeping ability. So in other words, if it has a bedroom, a kitchen, and a bathroom, did you know that you can write off the mortgage interest on that as well? I'm betting a lot of people don't use that one very well, but I thought that one was extremely fascinating and I would definitely want you to think about that if that pertains to you.